Hey guys, Jacinta here. Um, I'm so sorry I've been away for like ages, I know. Um, it's just life's been really, really hectic. So, um, but I'm getting back into, into my channel now um, and I'll be posting videos as and when I can. Just I, I've got my final year of school and everything to um, contend with. So um, that takes up most of my time and writing, obviously writing as well. Um, but yeah, I'm getting back into my book reviews and today I have for you a review of Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz. Um, Anthony Horowitz is one of my favourite authors so when I saw this book I said oh my god I have to have it and obviously I love mystery thrillers so I said yes I'm definitely going to buy that. Um, I loved this book. Um, I loved that it was um, it wasn't your typical whodunit um, and there was basically two whodunit mysteries wrapped up in one in one novel um, which I really really enjoyed okay so basically it is about um, it is about a literary agent who receives a manuscript for um, the final installment in a series from an author that, that her um, publishing house has um, taken on obviously and published all his other novels um, and basically she gets to the end um, to realise that there's a chapter missing and this is a whodunit so she's very frustrated because she doesn't um, she doesn't uh, I guess know who did who actually killed the person and um, so she's very frustrated and she's like where's the last chapter gone and um, but then she and she they get a suicide note um from the author himself of the book um and they still don't have the last chapter um they get a suicide note and the author is dead um but the literary agent starts looking around for the last chapter and she starts to think she starts to realize that maybe he didn't actually commit suicide and maybe this was more of a conspiracy and that he himself, ironically, a murder mystery writer, was murdered. Um, so it's about her trying to find out who did it and then they also happen to have taken the last chapter of this manuscript and they, she also wants to try and get them the last chapter as well. Um, it's just really, really clever the way that it intertwines um, and also the way that the author who had died had actually characters in his in his uh, detective series um, be representations of people that he actually knew in real life. Um, I really really liked that. I thought that was really um, kind of funny as well to be honest the way that it was so um, blatant the way that they were based off of some of the characters. Um, and I also, I'll show you now, I also really like the um, layout of it. First, like obviously we have her reading them, telling us about this manuscript. And then she goes on to read the manuscript. And because it's called Magpie Murders, I don't know, if you know that um, old magpie rhyme? One for sorrow, two for joy, three for girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, seven for a secret never to be told. Well, um, the manuscript of that, of his novel is um laid out in that way like the first part is called sorrow and then the next one is called joy and obviously that word obviously has relevance within that part of the story um and i just thought that was so clever of um anthony horowitz to do um such a unique idea and it was just so ingenious like so genius to come up with such a um such a good story that also fitted around this 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 um, nursery rhyme. I really loved it. Um, and obviously there are there were times when there were a few magpies shown about the place, a bit of foreshadowing kind of thing. I just really liked that. Um, I thought it was really really clever, and I really really enjoyed this book. And um, I would highly recommend it to anyone who um likes a good a really good gripping um murder mystery 
And if you're a fan of Anthony Horowitz, you won't be disappointed because this is amazing. Now, I know that was a pretty short review, but I literally do not have anything else to say about it, like, other than it was just one of the best books I've read so far. Recently, anyway. Um... Yeah, I think that pretty much sums up my review. Um, so right now I am reading um, The Saviour's Champion by Jenna Moresi, who is a right obviously a writer, but she's also a YouTuber as well. Um, I watched a number of her videos, so I decided to check out this book and I'm nearly finished. So over the next few days, I will have a review posted on that too. And hopefully you'll enjoy. Um, so, yeah. If you're new, remember to subscribe to my channel because there will be plenty more book, film, TV reviews and I'm planning to get some more mental health related things um, up soon as well. I know I've only got like one video but um, I'll get there. But for now my friends, I will see you soon. Bye!